Hey there and welcome to Simply Learning 1 to 3. Today's video is again a science lesson. We need water. The topic we are going to see today is sources of water. water. Water is the most important liquid on earth. Did you know that all living things are at least half water? Be it animals, plants or us. You can go without water only for three days. Water is very important to each of our bodies. How much water is on earth? It covers almost 75% of earth's surface in the form of oceans, rivers and lakes. And how much water is suitable for drinking? 97% of that water is salty ocean water which is not suitable for drinking. So we have only 3% of water which is suitable for drinking. If we compare the earth to a basketball, all of its water will fit into a ping pong ball. Isn't that amazing? People have many uses for water besides drinking. They use it for washing, cooking, irrigate crops and lawns. They also use the power of flowing water to produce electricity. Water plays an essential part in rituals of various cultures throughout the world. But where do we get this water from? So today we are going to take a look at all the places we get water from. There are various sources of water. Rain is the main source of water. Rain falls on earth and fills rivers, lakes, ponds and oceans. If there was no rain, plants, animals and people would not have water. Now let's take a look at the natural sources of water. The first one is oceans. Oceans are vast water bodies which cover most of the earth. Ocean water is salty water. Ocean serves as one of the largest habitat for a variety of animals. There are five oceans on earth. The Arctic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean and the Antarctic Ocean. The next source of water is sea. Sea is actually a part of the ocean which is nearest to land. There are 57 seas on earth. Sea water is also salty water as it is the part of the ocean. The next source is rivers. Rivers are fast flowing water bodies.
river water is fresh water that means it has very little salt streams are small water bodies which flow into rivers so we can say that streams are also part of rivers rivers are the lifelines of the world they connect almost every part of the world and that is why to celebrate the importance of rivers every fourth sunday of september is celebrated as world rivers day to mark the importance of these water bodies The next water source is lakes. Lakes are calm still water bodies which also have fresh water. That is they have very little salt in them. Lakes are surrounded by land. There are many lakes which are created artificially for generating electricity and also for recreational purposes. even lakes are created for agricultural use the next water source is a pond pond is an area filled with water it can be natural or also artificial that is we can make a pond ponds are generally smaller than a lake ponds provide water for agriculture they also provide water for animals Now let's take a look at some of the underground sources of water. We can also draw water from under the ground with the help of wells, tube wells, hand pumps, dams or reservoirs are structures which are built across a river or a stream to retain the water or to hold the water. we get water into our taps from water tanks which are over the top of our buildings so that was all about the different sources of water and their importance in our lives thanks a lot for watching stay tuned for more such videos